I will no longer smooth out my complexion to suit your goddamn ignorance! Economics, cause you took yourself from squalor. Sway. Mastered academics, cause your grace said you were scholar. Sway. Mastered Instagram, cause you can instigate a follow. Shit. Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. Get it? Yeah. Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. Get it? Yeah. Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. Get it? Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. Get it? Yeah. Look at all these slave masters. The murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmed Arbery, along with countless other black women and men, are all perpetuated by a system of racial discrimination. In support of the Black Lives Matter movement, I wanted to make this video to help my allies by educating you on the truth about the war on drugs and its impact on the criminal justice system along with people of color. The war on drugs was and still is a campaign started by President Nixon in 1971 with a $47 billion allowance led by the US government with the goal to eliminate all illegal drug trades. In 2016, the U.S. achieved the highest number of people in prison with 2,205,300 citizens. Two million! This allowed the police to use unnecessary force targeting addicts, people of color, and those who protested against the Vietnam War in the 60s and 70s. The true goal of the war on drugs was to keep political ops silent. So back then, if they had YouTube and I was making this video, who knows where I would be right now. The police were given directives to break into people's home and oftentimes beat innocent people to death or until they could put them in handcuffs. This led many black children to grow up with parents who are either addicts or in jail. In addition to that, these children grew up repeating the same toxic cycle their parents did because they weren't provided with the mental health resources that they are entitled to or should be entitled to. My beef with the war on drugs is that when you criminalize drug possession and drug use and remove addicting drugs away from addicts like cold turkey, it almost always results in death. So these politicians knew that and still decided to proceed with this campaign instead of funding mental health resources? I'm not okay with that. The war on drugs is a war on people of color and mostly black people. In 2019, studies show that police kill an average of three people a day. And black people are three times more likely to be killed by the police over white people. In 2019, black people accounted for 24% of police killings despite only making up 13% of the US population. Very few police have been convicted of these killings and that's simply because of police unions and something called qualified immunity. Qualified immunity is a type of legal immunity that protects a government official from civil lawsuits. When invoked, it provides immunity from having to go through the costs of a trial. The legal concept frequently appears in cases involving police officers, but it can apply to executive branch officials. If applied, it shields officers from liability for all actions taken on the job except those that violate clearly established law. Apart from the horrific police killings, this petty tactic led to mass incarceration of people of color. Can you believe that 53% of drug charges in Canada were only cannabis related? Here we are in 2020 where cannabis is federally legalized in Canada and legalized across 11 states and deemed as an essential service since March lockdown. The legal weed industry is exploding and on route to being worth 30 billion by 2023. The history of cannabis prohibition is systemically racist. Being part of the industry, I am one of a very few black people who work in the, the legal dispensaries. like. What the fuck? So don't be fooled because legalization often excludes people of color from making any profit off the industry by making it nearly impossible to get a federal license, which you literally need this federal license because it allow allows you to grow, to process, to set up store operations, to 
distribute literally everything so let me just put it like this capitalism has taken the opportunity from black people to grow in the industry because they are looked at as less educated or less classy while these business white men are all dressed up in their business suits and looked at as you know cool or lifestyle aesthetic and taking over what black people have built surrounding the cannabis culture this is why it is so important for people of color to be in the industry. It's time for us to start carving out a space in the cannabis industry for people of color. The beauty of what the Black Lives Matter movement did is seeing all these cannabis brands use their platforms to speak up and become new allies and be in solidarity with all of us indigenous tribes are hopping on the cannabis train and they are investing in the cannabis industry flint and embers retail cannabis store is a hundred percent peguis nations owned and right here on treaty one territory so what i'm trying to get at here is that it's important to support uh canadian dispensaries who are aligned with the black lives matter movement as well as advocating for the inclusion of people of color in the industry and finding ways for people of color to enter existing markets without so many hurdles. On a lighter note though, Canopy Growth is really showing their support by donating bail money for protesters who've been arrested. And PAX recently partnered up with The Last Prisoner Project, a national advocacy organization that only has one goal, and that one goal is to make sure that all the prisoners who are in jail from drug-related charges get to go home. So here's to today, and tomorrow, and the future of the cannabis industry not only creating opportunities for change, but opportunities for everyone. Thank you for joining my TED Talk. And please don't forget to view my description down below. I listed a bunch of resources if you are someone who doesn't know how to help and are seeking ways to help and join the movement. Black Lives Matter.